Hey everyone, welcome to this video in the Katie Explains series. Um, if you haven't seen some of the other videos, these are much quicker videos to kind of share something that's um, kind of short or something that doesn't really need like a full lecture to explain. Um, and it's also just a little bit less stressful for me to make. So today we're going to be talking about idol hunting with Firefox containers. Now, this is something I wanted to, to include in my uh, idol video, but actually I just didn't really find a good place for it. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to do a demo. It's going to be great. Um, so this one is all demo. <laughs> so we can end the slideshow there because there's literally only that one slide. Um, let's look at this. So. As we can kind of see here, my Firefox has these two little things here. We have like a purple bar and a green bar. And that's because I'm using Firefox containers. So let's talk about how they work. So when you start up a new tab in Firefox, it's all in the same kind of container, which means all of the cookies are shared, right? So if you're hunting for idols, you need to log out of account, log back in, log into account, log out, whatever. It's really annoying. Uh, but Firefox containers means that you can log into two different accounts at once, kind of like how you can have like an incognito mode. So in here, we have our little containers. I've got links to set this up in the in the uh, video description. So let's add a new container um, and let's make it. What have I got? Let's make it blue. And this, and I might go. Okay, this is going to be my third account. Maybe this will be low permission. So I'll go OK, and I'll have this new low permission one in there. So I've got Apple, Purple, Present, and low permission. Um, and if I click on this, I've now opened a new tab in low permission. And if I go to tumblr.com, here, we can see that this hasn't logged me on. This has logged me on to Leet Hacker, and this has logged me on to Insider PhD Hack. But actually, this is a completely new... Uh, tab I can use, I can look in here and if I go to this, I can see what tabs are open. I can open new tabs in these containers. And this is really, really cool. I don't really know how to best describe how cool this is, but to kind of show you an example of how this can work. So we have the two accounts here and we have Burp Up here. And obviously we've hit like a bunch of different things, but actually we want our, yep, yeah, that's the one. Uh, so we're going to add to scope and then show only in scope items. Don't click any of these buttons. They're very tempting. Don't press them. Um, just so we can kind of clear this up a little bit. And we know that the API is located here somewhere, I think. So, right. If we look at our HTTP history, and we kind of refresh the page here. We can see in Burp, I've got another community suite tap open over here. There we go. Uh, we can see in Burp that we're getting, this is our cookie here. Um, so maybe we want to create a new post. And if we go back to Burp here, we've got this one here. I will send that to repeater. Um, oh, that's the dashboard one. No, I didn't want that one. I wanted the post update. There we go. Um, so we send that again. HTTP three. Oh, that's probably like a thing in here. But we can still see we've got the cookie here. That's the important thing. When we want to hunt for idols, we want to switch out those cookies. So I'll put these this in here. And what I'll do is I'll go back to burp. Turn on. Um, intercept, post this, go to here, um, forward that one because that one's fine. This is the one. Right, so if we go to repeater, but, but, but we have the cookie for account one, and we have the cookie for account two. And all we need to do is take this cookie, delete it, replace it, forward it on, forward it on and then see what that returned. If we go here, we can say we've got a 403 error. Now, obviously when we hunt for idols, this is particularly useful. 
Um, just having those two accounts open at once, so we can constantly switch between them, and we can actually do kind of interesting stuff here. Um, especially when it comes to uh, the fact, because we have two open, we can go... Um, I don't know how to call oh, yeah. Um Especially when we have stuff like this, because we can be like, okay, let's, let's you know, like a post here, go back to burp, note where we've got the like, center repeater, go back here, turn on intercept, press like, and then we know that's the right, uh, we know that's the right endpoint. And we can go here, go here, go here, go here, and do that, and forward it, and forward it, and we can just let that go. Um, and then we can go back to the like here and see, okay, we've got HTT403 forbidden. And if we were doing proper idol hunting, I already know all these are not idols by the way this is not like some weird thing this this is me i know this that these are these not idols um but because we have the both at the same time we can actually have quite a lot of kind of exploring of doing different actions on those two different accounts and seeing where they match up um and we can actually have you know even more accounts if you followed my kind of other video when I talk about idol hunting and I go, okay, step one, remove the cookie. Step two, different user. Step three, low permission user. You can create those three accounts and have them all logged in via these um, uh, Firefox uh, permissions. Because I can go here, go to Tumblr, make another account and then start to investigate. You know, if I add someone as a approved submitter on my blog. make a new account, then go get started, PhD3, password is, I'll just use the same password I used for that one, and username will be low permission, And now I have yet another account that I can use for my bug hunting. So now I have three accounts open at once. And you can kind of see how that means you can really go through that list of IDOR techniques very, very easily. Um, now this is really you google firefox containers it's a default um uh thing made by mozilla but you just need to install it as an add-on that's it it's so easy and it's ridiculously powerful um you know especially as you can keep these these don't have to be site specific you can always have um you know one thing one um session that you always use for your first account, one session you'll always use for your second account, one session you'll always use for your low permission account and you can have those logged into any service you want so you can see like how good this can be and especially if you want to then look at filtering requests um, you can't do searches on the uh, let's see if I can find A good one. It's easier when I was making it. There we go. Nope, that's the dashboard. Oh, so I'm not looking right around. You can actually look and start filtering by, you know, whichever one of these cookies changes. Because what you might do is you might say, okay, I'm going to make a new post here. That will then give me a post up here. And I'll see the cookie. I'll take that cookie here and I'll go uh, diff uh, 
You can see this is not the first time I'm doing this to figure out the difference between two things. Um, and then in my repeater, I had the same thing. Yep. Copy again. I find the difference. Is the whole cookie different? I'm guessing it's P, P, F, G, which is the main difference here. Oh, character difference. Of course it is. Um, so I'm guessing it's this character that's different. It looks different, yeah. Um, so you can actually search by cookie here and go, well, I think this is likely my user cookie, so I'll search for this one. This will show me all requests from account one. This one will show me all requests from account two. Um, and yeah, is it kind of a pain to do this all the time? Yeah, of course it is. Um, but manual idle hunting, this is just what manual idle hunting is. Oh, here we go. We can see here these are like two requests that are done by two different users. There you go. Um, so is this pain in the ass? Yes. Is this make idle hunting so much easier when you don't have to log out of one account and log into another account and hope the cookies are still valid for account one? Oh yeah. Um, so with that, I'm going to take my leave. Look at that. Three slides. Um, so I hope you found this video useful, interesting. Um, I hope this kind of lets you up your idle game. Uh, and I will see you in the next video.